Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, today, I want to give you some wisdom and advice that you may not want to hear. So that's a little warning. Some won't mind, but many people listening may not want to hear this. As I read the passage, I want you to figure out what my advice or perspective or wisdom might be. This is found in Proverbs chapter 20, verse 1. Here we go. Wine is a mocker and beer a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. Okay, you ready for the wisdom? Ready for some perspective? Let me read the passage again first. Wine is a mocker and beer is a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. Remember that wisdom is the highest value of the book of Proverbs. There's the contrast of the fool and the wise person. And the highest level of life is walking in a way of wisdom. And so look at this passage. It starts by saying, and I, I think that there's something to this. Again, I, I, I've talked in the past about the way that, that the Hebrew language kind of builds on itself. I think that these two are similar, but, but also bringing different nuance. Wine is a mocker. Mocking tends to be verbal. Some people, when they drink too much, their mouth starts to run. When they do too much, they say things that they, they don't remember they said or they wish they hadn't said. But wine can become a mocker. You can have words come out of your mouth when you've drank too much. I, I, I'm not giving a diatribe on that it's wrong to ever have a drink because I don't think the Bible teaches that. But drinking too much is foolish. Drinking too much leads us away from wisdom. And sometimes when we drink too much, we become mockers. Our words get out of control. The next thing says, and beer is a brawl, brawler. What do you think when you think of a brawl? You think about a fist fight. You think about getting physical. Sometimes when you drink too much, some people get physical and do things that they should never do. I sat in a courtroom one day uh, because my name was drawn to go and uh, serve my country and serve my community. So there I sat, and, uh, and I've done that, I think, five or six times in my life now. In this particular time, uh, they were drawing names out, and they had us come up, and they actually had the, uh, the two attorneys ask us questions. And so I... They called my number, I went and sat there, and they asked the question, uh, the defense attorney actually said, uh, could you see situations where somebody maybe drank too much and you know, maybe did, didn't really know what they were doing, and then they maybe did something physically, and some, some might call abuse to somebody who was close to them, and I can see right where it was going. They're just saying, do you, do you see a problem with somebody who gets drunk and then beats up their, in this case, their wife? And they said, you know, could you see where that could be an okay thing was kind of the question. And I said, actually, I said, um, I don't think any punishment is too great for somebody who's stupid enough to, to drink and then abuse other people. Or I said, I said, I'm a pastor. I've buried people who run down by drunk drivers. I said, so um, can I see where that would be okay? No. And he said, I'd like to have this uh, gentleman dismissed. <laughs> and they dismissed me. And I went back and sat in my place. My number got called two more times. And the next two times, the judge actually looked at the case and said, don't bother. And then as they begin to talk about it, I think three of the four cases we talked about were actually based on behaviors that came when somebody had drank too much. I had no idea before that moment how many things come to court because alcohol has been used out of, out of bounds. And so, so listen, listen one more time to this passage. Wine is a mocker and beer is a brawler. Whoever is led astray by them is not wise. You will lack wisdom if you let those things get out of control. For some people like me, a person who grew up in a gen with five generations of alcoholism in my family, the way I battle that is I don't drink at all. But most of my friends like a glass of wine. Most of my friends don't mind a cold beer after a hard day of work or a round of golf. And I have no problem with that. As a pastor, and that might bother you that I have no problem with it, but I don't as a pastor if, it, if it's used within boundaries. But when, those, when, when alcohol is used excessively, our mouths get out of control and we speak words that we can never take back. And sometimes our hands and our bodies get out of control and harm people, intentionally or accidentally. So here's my challenge, walk in wisdom. If, if, if alcohol is part of the rhythm of your life, use it with wise boundaries because you wanna be a wise person. Don't let your mouth run or your actions bring damage to others, in some cases irreparable damage. So that's some advice you might not wanna hear. But I need to say, um, Enjoy a nice glass of wine if you drink wine. Enjoy a cold beer if you drink beer. And, but, but don't over drink because the cost can be greater than you can imagine before it happens. Let's pray together. Lord, I know some people listening to me uh, might have actually shut off their uh, hearing aid or their, their desire to listen when they realized what the passage was talking about. But I pray that each person will, will just tune in. And if, if they 
have had a problem and that they've been excessive with alcohol, Lord, you'd give them wisdom to step back, either step away entirely or limit it to such, in such a way that they can walk in wisdom and not hurt and damage others with their words or with their actions. Give us wisdom in all that we do, including in how we use the things we drink. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.